Hi, today we are going to learn how we can draw different kind of objects and animation using C++ in the canvas. We can draw different circles, shapes and uh, we can build an executable animation file that I have already created for the demonstration. So let's start using Dev C++. If you have already Dev C++, you can uh, open it using Dev C++ icon or we can easily download and install dev c++ from the google just type here download dev c++ the first link will be available for the downloading free dev c++ id or editor we can click on the download button here to download the dev c++ okay before going to use the dev c++ for the graphics environment we have to move how we can initiate graphics using dev c++ we are going to use graphic c++ in dev c++ ide for this purpose i will recommend to move to the inst ms dot com c++ for this purpose and after this go to the menu graphics using dev c++ we have to read this topic carefully after reading this topic we will able to use the graphics c++ in dev c++ for this purpose we are going to create a new project just click on project option select here console application i am giving the project name as animation click on ok animation project is created here okay the default source file is available here we are going to get it from this source file as i have discussed you we have to go to instms.com here is the instruction copy the parameters using ctrl c go to the dev c++ press here ctrl h move to the parameters option paste these all parameters in the parameter text area click on ok now our uh, dev c++ graphic environment is ready to use for more information you can uh, read the entire topic ok here is the example program we have to copy this example program to test either graphic environment is ready for use control v here just click on uh, i will recommend to zoom click on compile and debug option it will require to save the file we save it as animation file dot c plus plus in the my documents press enter we can see the graphic environment is working very fine uh, high wide range of circles is displaying on the screen but this is not our today's topic we are going to remove this entire code and we are starting here by including graphic header file in our project this is the simple way to include the graphic header file in our project just right here include graphics.h after this one i am going to define the default define default height and width of our graphic canvas for this purpose i am going to use the define directory define max width uh, okay uh, there is not equal sign will be used similarly we can copy and paste uh, we will write here max height here i am going to write i have, would like to clear this here uh, that uh, this is the preprocessor directives that are used to define the maximum height and width of our canvas this is the defined width and this is the defined height this is the include directive 
okay now i am going to initiate our writing our c++ main function this is the simple main function that can be used in each and every program of the c++ in this c++ main function just pressing the control plus c i am closing for the time being initialize our graphic window first of all the first process is to initialize the graphic window for this purpose init window window function is available in graphics.h we have to provide here we can see here we have to provide width height and title of the window we provide here max width as we have defined it and max height after this we are typing here my animation uh, program as the title of the window okay Terminate the uh, instruction by semicolon. The first and hot and fast rule for the creation of animation in any uh, language is to create an infinite loop that will uh, uh, refresh the canvas or redraw the canvas rapidly. For this purpose, we are going to writing an infinite loop while not kb hit. Kb hit is the graphic program uh, function that. Uh, will execute the loop until the until a uh, keyboard key is pressed while not kb hit i am writing here to randomize each object property first of all i am uh, declaring here some variables to randomize the properties of each object graphic object such as if we go to the example program again there is there are multiple objects uh, of the same type that is circle but each object have different color different shape different left right and width so that for this purpose i am randomizing the properties of the objects first of all i am randomizing its radius let's suppose 10 plus minimum radius will be the 10 and the maximum will be the and random percentage 100 this will randomize the radius up to 10 okay similar in the similar way we are going to randomizing the object properties left left will be the one to random max width and uh, this will be the max max height this can also be the one and next will be the color of each object will be different it can also from 1 to 16 there are 16 color available in 32 bit um, randomizing the other property that is called fill style fill style is the texture style of the object or circles this one from 1 to 10 10 fill styles are available in graphics.h c++ I, am go, uh, I will try to explain this entire process again this is the infinite loop that will run until unless any keyboard button is hit okay and uh, in this process first of all we are going to randomizing the properties that will be used for drawing the objects on the windows canvas or draw window these are the four properties that are we using radius left color uh, top and 
fill style this will be the top okay after this randomizing we are going to draw the objects and using these properties first of all i am using uh, i will like to write here the parameter using random properties okay first of all i am using the fill style property set fill style set fill style and this will pattern and color i would like to provide pattern as fs this is the fill style variable we have already created and the color that i have already created in the color variable after this we are going to setting the color using the color variable and uh, we will draw a circle using and x y for the left and top top and last one is the radius that is our radius variable uh, at the last we will use flood fill for filling the pattern of the circle for this purpose we have also provide the left top and x and y and the border of the flood fill that will be the color of the border okay so this is the complete animation example uh, at the end of this loop i would like to write here get ch function for draw infinite type and after get ch we will close the graph using close graph function and returning zero because our main function is accepting return as a integer run this program so let's uh, execute this program by clicking on run and execute well done this program is looking fine this is executed successfully but we can see that there is a rapid change in the execution mode and circles are uh, drying continuously we will have to put a delay in the infinite loop so that it will looks fine we have to put delay after the flood fill we say that uh, delay function for some pause in draw ink. okay we use delay function uh, millisecond we can have to provide 200 millisecond okay so let's check it again the compilation process is complete we can see now it looks fine but after some time it the entire canvas will be filled to tackle down this type of problem as we can see that uh, the entire canvas is getting mesh up we have slowed down the process of drawing objects on the screen but uh, after some time the entire canvas will be mesh up with multiple objects to tackle this problem we can uh, put a count on these drawing objects let's suppose we say that uh, some kind of count variable is equal to zero and each and every time when the canvas will draw particular object it will increase count using count plus plus and we say that if count is greater than equal to 20 what will happen when the total objects on the drawing canvas will be equal to 20 then we can say that clear device this is a function of graphics dot h library and count start from 0 again to initial value this will uh, we can say that reset the canvas okay let's see uh, how it will work Uh, this is taking a little bit time to draw the we can see that the each and every time when the 20 objects are uh, completing that count the canvas is getting clear device and each and every uh, circle has different pattern different fill color different border color and different fill style 
that is why because uh, we have randomized each and every property of the graphic object we can see here we have randomized it we have randomized each and every uh, property of the object we can see here the each every pattern is randomized for this purpose we have created here uh, multiple variables for handling the radius left right top bottom etc this is the randomized object properties here we can see that the radius is randomized left position top position and also we have set the color as the randomized okay for the entire example there is the complete uh, illustration of uh, demonstration of this uh, uh, program example is also available on inst ms uh, uh, here is the program code example if you see here this is the animation program code example we just have to click on this one this is the complete code as the we have discussed in dev c++ an important point that i want to clear you we have to select here the compiler gcc 32 bit because graphic.h is available for the compiler 32 bit for debugging process here is the fill style and drawing the objects this is the delay we can increase or decrease the delay for smoothly uh, demonstration of the clear device context we can see here removing the delay we can see that this is not getting a mesh, mesh up or uh, getting canvas filled up with the graphic objects each and every time when the 20 objects will be drawn the canvas will be cleared automatically okay so nice thank you